So as we're talking about here, chronically, the stress level that we're dealing with these days is hurting our brains, quite literally hurting our brains. These powerful stress hormones can cause long-term damage and they're killing off our brain cells. Now luckily for us, we are able to grow new brain cells, we're able to create new connections between brain cells over time. That's a good thing. Um, that's why we always tell people to stimulate your brain, learn new things, learn a new language, go out and try a new sport. But nonetheless, it's not um, a good thing to be losing brain cells because of chronic stress and the impact of those very harmful hormones that occur with chronic stress. The issue with our stress these days is it is chronic in nature. It's not short term, it's not acute as we saw with the man running from the bull. It is chronic. It's pervasive, it's persistent, and it's insidious. It's everywhere. Many times we don't even realize that we're under stress, but we are. You might even find yourself right now reading through or listening to this particular class. You may find that your shoulders are up around your ears. You may find that your teeth are clenched. You may find that your um, body is a little bit rigid, right? So we carry stress with ourselves. We don't even realize it sometimes, but these are examples of chronic stress physically. We also know that these days chronic stress is contributing to chronic conditions. I mentioned at the very start of this class that we cannot separate brain and body. The two are integrated very closely together. We know that the long-term chronic effects of stress that are not relieved on a regular basis contribute to chronic conditions. It can contribute to things like the development of hypertension, of strokes, of ulcers, of diabetes, of congestive heart failure, even COPD. A lot of the things we think about when we think about chronic illness are caused or made worse by chronic stress. Likely, you're watching this class because you're in one of the helping industries. You're an RCFE administrator, or you're a nurse or a social worker, perhaps. But we're all running at full gear these days, a lot of us, and we're caring for people who are under a lot of stress. So it's well worth understanding how this chronic stress impacts us and those that we care for so we can do something about it. Again, we're hoping that awareness today will really help you take action, both for yourself and for those that you're caring for.